I've finished all your cleaning, Mrs. McAllister. Everything is spotless. So will that be all for now, then? We're having a lovely time in your delightful country. Everyone is very, very kind. Good afternoon. Are you Abigail Rogers? Yes. May we talk? You see, my husband died about a year ago, and my daughter's just gone off to university, so I guess I feel it's time I did something out there. with the grit in her eye. I haven't really talked about him since he died. Seems kind of rude. Where are you? Uh, just my daughter. So you don't want to pick it up and I'll go? Well, I was wondering, would you... Uh, could you... Help you? Yes. Yeah. I'll give you lunch. Oh! Oh! What are you doing? And who the hell are you? Miriam. Oh, Miriam, come back! No, Miriam, come back! Listen, the deal is, if I feed you, you don't just go. I won't. Good. Because I'll need feeding again. <laughs> Just that I felt in many ways my brother is being portrayed as some kind of a mole who was leaking information. And I think it is just worth emphasizing that it was a very integral part of his job to be briefing the media. But it turned out to be just a Vauxhall Astra. It wasn't my normal garage. I was in a different area of the country. Nobody seemed to care. I wasn't being kept informed. It was very inconvenient. I really felt that I needed somebody, just one person, to say, look, I'll deal with it. I'll keep you informed what's going on. Well, eventually I got my car.